If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 122 of My Player here on FIFA 15. After a truly incredible uh, Madrid derby in the last episode, we're back to cup action today against Hatafe in the Copa del Rey. And then we've got a game against Espanyol in La Liga to try and help get ourselves back towards the top of the table. So you can see Dumbia apparently has just moved to Barcelona according to that news article. We are now into the January transfer window. i uh, quickly show you uh, what fixes we've got this month. I'm not looking to move obviously. We've only been at Atleti for about six months and uh, quite happy here right now. We're playing probably some of the best football of our entire career right now. We are currently six points off though. Real Madrid at the top of the table and weirdly Espanyol are actually second. So the smaller club from Barcelona are above the, uh, the Giants as you can see by two points. They're a point ahead of us so it's a massive game against them in the uh, the second game of the episode. I'm not sure whether it's home or away. We'll have a quick look. It is at home, so we should be favourites, despite the fact that uh, Espanyol are having the better season. We'll be starting up top alongside uh, Mario Mandzukic, as you can see in this first game against Hetafe. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, feel free to hit the like button. It really does help the channel out when, uh, when you guys throw loads of likes on the video, so please do so if you do enjoy. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll uh, jump straight into the action, though. We'll hope to get uh, a cut progression in this, or at least a decent result, because it's uh, over two legs, isn't it? at the Copa del Rey and then fingers crossed uh, we can get three points against Espanyol as well rather more important game than I actually thought it was going to be Garcia threads it through to me I see the man running through the middle I think it's Gila Vogi. it is is he going to find Mandzukic he does nice turn by Mario good shot by the Croatian but good save again by their goalkeeper that's the first chance of the game come and gone bit of a snapshot from Mario but it was well worked good turn to actually get the space in the box in the first place just couldn't quite find the accuracy with a finish but uh, it's been a slow start that was the first chance for either side in the game to this point but uh, unfortunately no goal came from it get it out wide there to Raul Garcia solid tackle by Ilicevic will continue though advantage is played Mankio might get it into the box I think he wanted to pass it to Raul Garcia there who's still Kind of hurt from that challenge, which is a bit unfortunate. Pjanic into Gilavogi. I mean, loads of space here. I will call for it. I'm going to take a shot as soon as I get my first touch. Under control! A deflection off the defender and off the post. Arroyo with a crucial block. Goalkeeper might have saved that had he not taken that deflection. Probably would off the very tip of his toes. Off the woodwork and out for a corner. Miralem Pjanic in the Bosnian. In it comes. Not headed my way, but Kuki might get there. He does, but it goes over the top of the bar. Wowzers. Chance is starting to come thick and fast now, 20 minutes in, and unfortunately, that is the end of Raul Garcia's game. The injury is enough to warrant him having to leave the pitch, and on comes Arda Turan. Escudero down the left. Might play a 1-2 here with Chimera Feliu. Has done, but it didn't really advance him further down the pitch as he might have liked, but he's played Feliu in again here. Chance for Hatafe if he can get this back into the box. There are a couple waiting. He's still going, tries to cross, then Mankiu scrambles it out, and they'll take a throw in five minutes before half-time. Escudero throws it back to Lopez Munoz. Is he going to work it to a teammate? They've still got plenty of options down the line, as well as plenty of options in the box. A lot of men forward here, uh, Hetafe, But they're not really creating anything so far. Here's Feliu again. We'll get it round the corner to Kim Shin Wook, who obviously is the giant South Korean. Oh, strike and a half from Samir off the inside the woodwork. That's both sides now that have hit the post. We had our shot deflected. That was just a very well-struck shot that came smashing back off the inside the post. I think that's actually the closest either side now have come to a goal, you have to say. Brilliant shot from their man. But Hatafe, unfortunate, unable, unfortunately unable to make the breakthrough. And it does look like we're going to go in at the break at 0-0. Falk to Munoz, got Kim Shin Wook in front of him, although he's kind of getting in the way now I think, more so than actually offering a genuine option for a pass, Arroyo might be able to get across in though, brilliant tackle by Sequeira, it's a corner not a throw in, 20 minutes still to go then in this uh, second half, not really too much action in the second period, but I hope that this isn't the start of the action, I'm on the post, I'm not sure whether it's going to come my way, no it's over my head and we will get it away. Bit of a boring second half, unfortunately. Not really too much to report to this point, but maybe it will liven up between now and the end of the game, like a couple of games have done in recent times. But 
hopefully the, the way it livens up isn't them getting a goal. But, oh, Gimson Wood gets a good turn in. But Goodin does get it away. Go on, Churchy Challenge. Oh, we've taken uh, Mario Mandzukic off. That's probably going to be a foul. It is. We've taken Mario Mandzukic off and uh, brought Alessio Churchy on. So we've got two very fast players up top now rather than the big physical presence and some pace. So maybe that will actually help us get in behind because they've been playing quite defensive, Hetafe. And uh, it's not been too easy to actually create some chances. And Poku towards Samir. We'll clear that away, although it's probably only going to go as far as another one of their players. It hasn't, actually. Alessio Churchy's done really well there to work that back. I'm going to lay this in front of Arda Turan and then continue to push forward myself. And then, oh, he's going to go back that way. I was going to call for that to get in behind, but never mind. Nice little back heel. Churchy still involved in the attack. Plenty of space on this far side for... Is it Sequeira pushing up? Oh, brilliant ball to Godin! Oh, Diego Godin hits the post. That's the second time we've hit the woodwork. And the third time in the game that the woodwork's been hit. They, of course, hit it in the first half. Mitsu coming on now for a Kim Sim work. Wow. Didn't realise he was now at Hetafe in this fifth season. But, wow, we must be on all-out attack then if Diego Godin is all the way up top. But that was a great strike. Wouldn't have expected that from the centre-back. And again, unlucky not to score. Throw for us then. Not long left. Gilavogi gets it to me. We've taken it around that man. Let's try and get back inside if we can. That's not quite worked, but we have managed to recover the ball. I could go solo here. I could go solo. I could still go solo. I'll try the shot. Oh, it's deflected. Never mind. Terzi. Oh, I was going to call for it again there. Terzi finds Pjanic. Pjanic with a shot. Side netting. Oh, another good chance wasted. I got a little bit greedy there. I'm so desperate to get a win out of this one and an away goal because I presume that they count. I'm not too sure, but... I'm assuming that away goals do count in this competition, although you know what they say uh, when you assume. You make an ass out of you and me. But uh, I think it's safe to assume that away goals are included in the Copa del Rey. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get one in this game. It's been actually an OK game. Not a large amount of chances, but the chances that were created were actually of a decent quality. The post hit three times by either side. Or including either side, two twice by us and once by them, but unfortunately no goal. So we'll head into the game against Espanyol and uh, we'll try and get a better result. Here's Victor Sanchez down the line towards Mattioni. Nice ball, loads of space here. Cross could come in, even more space for Stuani. They should get the cross in. They've got Demba Bar up top, Espanyol. So they've definitely got someone to aim for in the middle if they do get it out wide and want to cross it in. But they're creating nice chances here or nice football with uh, this move. And they have found Demba Bar and he very nearly finds the back of the net. A good save there by Yana Black. Otherwise, well, we could have been in trouble there. That was a very, very good move. Dinked over in the middle and then played around the corner. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, it's a decent chance. We'll see if they can get something from the corner. Christian Suani is going to be the man to get it into the box. I'm on defensive duties again here at the edge of the box, but Bet Bar, uh, uh, I can't almost fail to say Denver Bar completely there. Manages to get up and get the header on target, but again, good save by uh, Yana Black. And we might be in at the other end now. If I can just get the change of pace and the acceleration, we are in at the other end. Surely, surely, surely. Oh, I tried to just place it rather than smash it. I tried to guide it into that bottom corner and it just didn't work. Couldn't quite send the goalkeeper the other way with the eyes and do him at the near post, unfortunately. Decent start then to this one. Chances at both ends. Maybe this one will have some goals in it, unlike the previous game. Mario Suarez. Up to Gabby, pick myself up off the floor. Mario Suarez works the ball nicely here to Gabby. Has the shot, draws a good save out of Kike Casilla. And we're going to have a corner. That was a very nicely worked move. We'll see if we can have something from the corner ourselves. They had a good chance from a corner earlier on. Denver Bar with a header. We might win this header, Church. You know, it's dropped. Shot to Griezmann. Here's Diego Godin. Leia Baptistao gets it to me. Bit of space for the shot. We'll have the shot. And Casilla again makes the good save. Oh, Gabby tries to get the ball back into the box, and it's well blocked by the defender. Another corner to come in then. Seems like there's going to be some chances in this game. I'll call for it here at the near post. It's not headed my way. Keeper's come a long way to get there. Godin wins the header, cleared off the line by Canyas. It's going to drop here, though, to Sequeira, to Mario Suarez. Uh, do I drive around the outside? No, we'll step inside, try and look fine in the far top corner. Churchy's there. Churchy finds the back of the net. Was he onside? He was good. Atletico 1, Espanyol 0. Really nice game so far. Enjoying this one. We are 1-0 in front as well. We'll jog into the background and celebrate with our teammate. 1-0 in front against the team that are above us in the league. But if he stays like this, they won't be above us anymore. Here's a day. Chance to play in Stuani and he takes it. No push from the overlap. And we'll take the ball back and we'll try it. Hopefully he'll play in Churchy there. He didn't. I'll call for it here from Baptistel. Try and find a teammate. I see the run on the far side. Lovely bent pass with the outside of my right foot. But Griezmann's just giving it straight away. 
Stuani is probably going to use Denver Bar sooner rather than later. I find myself getting involved more and more defensively as the season goes on, as we try and work our way back towards the top of the table. A day with a shot. Oh, Yana Black. That's terrible goalkeeping. Squeezed underneath the goalkeeper. And Espanyol are back on level terms. And that means we're staying in third. We need to go and get ourselves back in front. I'm not sure whether it took a deflection off the defender's foot. Perhaps that's what wrong-footed the keeper. We'll wait for the replay, but really, really bad goalkeeping. Nice ball by Denver Bar. Nice ball across. Did it take a deflection? It didn't. I don't know what the keeper was doing there. It just was fired in low, and he went with his... Tried to save it with his knees, I think. Tried to almost drop to his knees to try and save it. Went through his legs, in off his ankles, and trickles over the line. Espanyol are back level, and we need another goal. Stuani up to Denver Bar. Nice little back heel into a day. Espanyol are a dangerous side. They've proven that so far in this game. We need to be wary that we don't let them get in front because it's going to be a difficult test to get a second goal. I'd rather that second goal be a goal that wins us the game rather than being a goal that gets us an equaliser. We're going to get a goal kick there. It was a decent chance as well from the header from their midfielder. We'll try and get ourselves back up the other end though, but there's not long left in this first half to actually get ourselves back in front. Looks like we'll have to regroup at the break and try and uh, hit them hard again in the second period. Denver Bar to Mattioni. Felipe Mattioni is in the box. He's looking for a player to pass it to. He's found Cagnas and Victor Sanchez out wide again to Mattioni. Uh, looking dangerous here, Espanyol, and I really don't like it. Denver Bar's on the ball again. Hopefully we can just help waste time until half-time and then we won't have to worry about them going in front. But space here for Kasayev. Space is opening up for Denver Bar as well. Back to Kasayev. Back to Kanyas. Building ominously here, but not really too much penetration behind our defensive line. All the play seems to be in front of the defenders. Until now, Adai trying to get in behind. Is he going to stand the cross-up looking for Denver Bar? No. Oh, we tried it. Solid tackle from Sequeira. And they're going to get a corner at the end of the first half. We might not yet have the chance to regroup at half-time and come back and look for a winner. We might have to be looking for an equaliser. We'll see. The ball comes in off the top of the bar and the half-time whistle goes. So very close to going in behind, but at half-time at the Vicente Calderon, it's Atletico 1, Espanyol 1. Mario Suarez. I'm tempted to call for a through ball here, but I won't because there's a few too many defenders in and around me. But Gabby's played in Turkey. I'm in some space, but I'll call for it now. It's not going to come as he's gone to Baptist now, but now I get it. Turn it around that defender. That's worked really nicely. I'm just going to try and get this back into the box and give it to Churchy if he's in some space, which he's not right now. We'll look for the man in the middle. Mario Suarez is there. He's on side. That's Atletico 2. Espanyol 0. Espanyol 1, sorry. And uh, that's an assist for us. I wanted to give it to Churchy, but the space just didn't open itself up. But brilliant, brilliant lunging slide from Mario Suarez. Determined to get there. I'm not sure whether it will give us the assist because obviously FIFA can be FIFA sometimes and it may have taken a touch off the defender first. But we'll, actually, let's just quickly check because it should tell me in the uh, player performance. We'll have a look. It has given me the assist. We'll take that then. Atleti 2, Espanyol 1. We're in front and it looks like we're going up to second in the table. As long as we can hold them out for another half an hour, that is. Stuani, round the corner to Fuentes. Fuentes... Oh, nice tackle by Mario Suarez. Done really well there. Chance to come away quickly, perhaps. Suarez up to Churchy. I'll call for it. He's going to give it to me, but I've got nobody to give it to that's further up the pitch. So we'll try and work it out wide. It wasn't meant for Gabby. It was meant for Sequeira in the first place, but never mind. Sequeira's got it now. Here's Gabby. Not really got too much pace to uh, break through in behind, but we got a lucky deflection there. I'm going to end up running into the defender in this situation but that's a nice turn left foot shot oh Mario Suarez gets in the way and it goes out for a goal kick you think if we make it 3-1 then that's probably going to be enough to be game over in fact Mario Suarez was offside when it hit him as well so uh, it's not even a goal kick they get a free kick a day tackled by Hernandez here we go, counter-attack time again although they have been leaving two or three defenders back at all times a call for a through ball from Arturo though and we'll try a nice little scoop tend to get inside and then lay it out wide towards Arda Turin, who's chundering away again down the right-hand side. That's a great cross. Flicked on, but uh, well knocked away by the defence. Just over 10 minutes left to go. And we are still on top, but Espanyol clearly are uh, a threat on a counter-attack. As Alvaro gets it across to Victor Sanchez. Two men over on this far side. Stuani's in the box. Stuani with a shot. And a black with a good save. They're going to get a corner then with 10 minutes to go. Espanyol are not out of this game yet. We cannot underestimate the threats that they're going to pose in the next few minutes. That's a good cross as well. Cleared away by Sequeira. And it's going to go out for a throw-in. And hopefully that will be the end of the move. 
Fuentes, nice little back heel to Alvaro. He's got options, one of which is Canyas. Out wide to Bifuma. So many men forward here. It's just myself and uh, Churchy up here with one defender on the halfway line. If we can steal it off them, then surely that's going to be 3-1 and game over if we can get them on the counter-attack. We have to actually get it away properly, and we are going to do so now. Churchy's going to make the decent run. I'm just going to go around the outside of the defender. Now the question is, do I go for goal or do I wait for Churchy and get another assist? We're going to get another assist. Vision plus one, 150th key pass of our career. We make it 3-1 in the 87th minute, and that most definitely now is game over and we are moving up one spot in the La Liga table two assists with two players sliding in to get the finishes both times first Mario Suarez now Alessio Cerci pleased with today's episode in the end to be fair after a 0-0 draw in the cup we get a 3-1 well a 3-1 lead but probably a 3-1 victory against Espanyol as well here comes Bifuma racing away down the left-hand side. A lot of pace to burn. question is, can he find a decent ball at the end of the run? He can. Oh, and they've hit the bar. Espanyol close to getting one back. Koke a bit under pressure, but didn't really need to react that way to get the ball clear. But still, they've got a throw in right by the corner flag. Oh, and Kaseyev lets it hit him in the face, or just on top of the head. But Fuentes is going to keep the ball in play. Tiavi gets tackled by Sequeira, but it only goes back as far as Fuentes again. Full-time whistle not far away now. They have just hit the bar, obviously, but can they get a second goal? Because goal difference could be an issue. Obviously, we're very, it's very, very tight at the top right now, so goal difference for Espanyol, despite the fact they're going to lose this game, that extra goal back, if we can get one, which they're not going to, could be the difference towards the end of the season, but we do get the 3-1 victory. Churchy's delighted. I'm delighted. Pleased to get the three points in the, in the league. I would have preferred the way that it went, actually, in this episode, with a draw in the cup and a win in the league, rather than a win in the cup and a draw in the league, because we've got the second leg yet to get a result back at the Vicente Calderon against Hetafe in the next episode for Saturday, but... We get three points in the league, which I will check, puts us hopefully back up into second. And indeed it does, but we're still six points behind Real, with Barcelona now a point behind us. And Espanyol dropped down to fourth, so with a win for Barcelona and ourselves, Espanyol dropped from second to fourth. But pleased, very pleased. We've got seven assists for the season now, which is actually more than we've ever had at this point. And in fact, it may even be more than we've ever had in any season all told. So still having a very good year here at Atleti. Not quite as many goals, but more assists. So at least we're still involved in the attacking play. But that is going to bring today's episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching. As always, drop the video a like if you enjoyed. If we could hit close to three or 400 again, that would be absolutely superb. And of course, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, channel already then do so. And uh, there'll be links down below to my Twitter and to my Twitch if you want to follow me over there or on Instagram or Facebook and of course to g2a.com as well if you want to check out uh, them for any PC games, Xbox or PlayStation codes etc and there is a discount code as well so uh, be sure to use that if you do head over there but for now thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll be streaming later on tonight in well sooner rather than later actually because this goes up at 8pm I stream at 8.45 every night check the link to Twitch I'll probably be live sooner rather than later and uh, I'll see you there hopefully